Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core 2.2 Web API application with Angular 7 front end. And in this video tutorial, we will be implementing role based authorization in our application. So, in the last video tutorial, we checked all the, we tested all the API methods and all of them were working fine we could we were able to add product update product and delete product also get a list of products now we need to have some kind of security mechanism that will validate if the request that is coming in to add a product update a product delete a product is made by an authorized user and what do I mean by an authorized user? So, if you remember in our registration method, when we register a new user using identity framework, we created a default role for the user, which was customer. So, anytime a user will register in your application, he will get the role of customer. And a customer can only view the products or purchase the products from your application front end should a customer be allowed to delete or edit the product details no he shouldn't be allowed to do so so therefore we have to implement role based authorization only if the request is made by an admin or a moderator depending on what privileges they have in your application then we will allow them to delete the product update the product or add the product Imagine if the product is out of stock and we need to change or take down the product listing Then we would need to have someone like an admin to go and delete that product from the list of products Therefore it is important for us in an application which has membership to have role based authorization and to implement role based authorization in ASP.NET Core we don't have to create a separate class for authorization if we can create a separate class if we want to add additional authorization policies but what we can do is just implement a middleware in our startup.cs and the middleware will be to add authorization so anytime a request is made the middleware for authorization will first validate if the user is authenticated which means if the user is logged in and he has a valid JWT token because inside the token there will be details regarding the applicants or the user's role so if he doesn't have a valid token or if he is not authenticated it will not execute the next step which means it will send back an unauthorized response to the user or the client who is requesting to add or update the product so the first thing we want to do is implement this middleware which will handle these requests so let's create a middleware services dot add authorization by adding this middleware now we can handle authorization in our application now inside our authorization middleware we can provide a list of options depending on the requirement of our application so what is the requirement of this basic application so the requirement is something like this where we have a user should be authenticated first of all when he wants to view the products second the user must be authorized so we also need to implement authorization along with authentication for viewing all products therefore we need to add two policies one will be for the admin and one will be for our customer role so let's go ahead and add these policies inside the add authorization method using options so now here we will create these options you can implement more requirements depending on your project but I am just going to implement two policies here one for the administrator role only and one for the administrator and customer so let's go and create a 
policy that will require the user to be logged in and in both whether it's administrator moderator or your customer they all need to be logged in in order to view products so let's create this policy so using the options we will add a policy inside this policy now we will specify what we need so first is the name of the policy so we'll call this policy as required logged in require logged in so which clearly states that the user must be logged in now we'll provide the details of the policy where we will say policy dot required role now the, we will specify the roles that we need to be logged in so, so in our case we have three roles so we'll say admin comma the customer comma the moderator if you have more roles you can add them here because you would want all of them to be logged in to view your products now the next thing we want to do is we want to say that only these people can view the products but we also want them to be authenticated which means logged in and have a token so we will use the dot required authenticated user method i'm not implementing claim based authorization to verify these users are actually admin customer you can further strengthen your policy by adding claims so you can just say required claims and then inside this you can specify whatever claims that you need the name of the claim because when we logged in the user when we send the token you guys know that we created some claims and added it to claims identity so you can use that here to further secure your authorization at policies using the required claim method here so all you have to do is just dot and required claim but for this small project i'm not going to implement required claims so i'm just going to keep it as simple as it is so the next policy that we want is only for the admin because the only the admin will have the option to add update and delete so let's create a new policy option dot add policy and call this policy as required administrator role once again we'll specify policy and here we want to say that the policy dot required role is going to be admin and we need him to be authenticated and we have a middleware that is already running which is going to validate the authentication the tokens so we did that in the previous video tutorials so our policies for authorization have been added now let's go to our product controller and now we would need to make sure that we implement authorization on the required methods or on the entire class you can implement authorization on the entire product controller saying that this needs to be authorized in order to view the entire controller or you can just implement the authorized attribute on specific methods that you want the users based on their roles to access and we will see that now so let's say for our action method which is get all products get products we need to make sure that the users are logged in and authenticated therefore we don't care if the user is an admin customer or moderator we just want to make sure that they are logged in so we are going to use this policy over here so uh, the way we add the policy is we open to square brackets and we specify authorize attribute 
and then we first add the missing reference to ASP.NET Core authorization and then we inside the parentheses we are going to specify policy the policy and then the name of the policy which is required logged in now anytime a request is being made to get the product list this middleware will check if the request is coming from an authenticated source if it is not coming from an authenticated source then it is going to send an unauthorized response back to the user or to the client now as we know we cannot use this authorized policy over here because we don't want all the users to add a product we just want the admin to add update and delete the product therefore we are going to use this second policy which is required administrator role so let's go ahead just copy this authorized attribute from here and add it onto this add product and change the policy name to required administrator role now copy this again and add it to the remaining action methods as i mentioned you can add it to a specific method or you can just add it to the class itself like this so depends on what your requirement is if there is nothing inside this class that requires only the login so then you will put it to the entire class because it means in every method inside this requires the administrator to access it but in this case we have the get products which can be accessed by authenticated users so i am applying it to action specific policies so now i'll save this and build my application to make sure there is no errors so now the build was successful in the next video tutorial we will test this policy based authorization using our postman application to make sure that everything is working fine so please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy thank you for watching